Today we review the Rafa Protein Flyweight Bib Shorts. Hello legends and super legends, welcome to Velo Harmony. In today's review, I introduce you to the Rafa Protein Flyweight Bib Shorts. I've got a copy right here. If you live in an area that is very hot, humid, arid, whatever, these are the shorts for those temperatures. Uh, those of you who live in Asia, Malaysia, this time of year is probably hot there. Uh, those of us in North America right now, it's kind of cool. I get a lot of my summer stuff in the winter because the prices are better. That's the way I do. I buy things in the off season. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to this product. First thing I noticed when I got the shorts, you can see how light. Look at it like a sieve, almost, you know, like a screen. They lighten everything. The standard protein bib shorts have two radio pockets. They only put one on this. I usually put my phone in here and I've got my phone here just to show you. This is where I put my phone when I wear the Rafa shorts. I really like that. That frees up my pockets. I don't have to even use my security pocket. So I usually it's in a bag and I slip it in here. Now, sometimes I may use my security pocket on the jersey. I will show you, I've shown you in my other reviews, but I'll show you in the next review I do for one of the training jerseys I got. Uh, and then I put like a, I can put a, a second tube in here sometimes when I'm lightening the load. So there's a lot of uses for this. Even if you don't have a uh, radio, you're not racing with a team that has radio. Um, the, the Lycra is very lightweight compared to the standard bib shorts just by feel. Even the legging, they lighten everything up. Now, what they did in this one, which they don't do in the others, is that they put a story in the, the pocket I just showed you. So I'm going to take it off the hanger here. And let me put on my glasses. This is very small. Let me show you. It's inside the pocket. They have it labeled as stitched with a story. And I love reading this story. They're very motivational. Because the guy who started Rafa is a cyclist and it shows in everything they produce. It's a nice label. You can see that little design at the bottom and then they've got the text above it. Very nice in there. So it says, what goes up must come down. At first, it was just for fun, waiting at the roadside for the local bunch to race past a bottle of Agua Penela at the ready. I'd hop onto the back and keep up as long as I could. As a boy, I suffered. As a teenager, I made them suffer. It became a drug, una adicion, like an addiction. We climbed up and down all day. And of course, the harder we went, the hotter it got. 30 kilometers, 40 kilometers, 50 kilometers uphill, first to the top. The descents, though, dot, dot, dot. That's how the story ends. And you can kind of fill in the blank. I thought that was really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on after showing it to you. Everything's been lightened. Even the straps have vents in them. They did not play. They call it their paired back version. That's why they call it flyweight for very hot weather. Be right out. I did not want to completely put this on before I uh, resume the review because I wanted to show you all a few things. I'm going to put the microphone in the back here out of the way. Like all the shorts that I get, there's always an issue because I have pretty large thighs. If you're pulling your shorts up, try not to pull it near the seams. Try to grab here. Like, like around the middle of where the lycra is to get it on your leg. I like for my shorts to come up and be one with my underside so you don't have any bunching up. So when you put this on, initially it feels very tight. This is the same size I use for the standard one. This is an extra large. Like right now, the straps feel like they're tugging on my shoulder. That's the way you want them to feel while you're standing. Let me get the other strap here. So standing up here, it feels small. 
compared to the other shorts. Feels very tight on the body. Now, as soon as I get in the riding position, like this, all that tightness goes away. I don't know how to do that, but it's just almost like it's designed for you to be on the bike, not walking around, messing around. Uh, what I'm doing here is pulling the shirt of my base layer down. And when I wear this in, in hot weather, I don't wear a base layer. I just put on the base layer for this demo. But you can see this thing disappears. When they talk about paired back, they're not playing. You, you put this thing on there, no, there's no extra fabric anywhere. So what I usually do with all my shorts, when I put them on, I do this. I run my fingers under the edge of the leggings. And for some reason, that helps it settle on my thighs. Do the same thing here. I'm just doing this for, your, for you to see what I do. I just put my hands under here so that that silicone can be released. When you do that, it just draws up naturally because they've got these things so tight that it pulls the shorts up on your body without you trying. So you don't have to, you know, naturally if you do that, you don't have to do that. You just kind of run your fingers here. As I'm doing this, I can feel it settling. I'm gonna step back a little bit so you guys can see the, how it looks. Now, these are regular length. They have regular and they have short in this model. In their other regular shorts, the, the, the bibs, the, the, what they call the protein bib shorts too, they have the long length and they have regular length. So it was a little different. But this one is like the long length in the regular one. I don't know why they didn't just do it the same way and just have regular and long because they're the same. So the, the, the regular in this one is like the long in the other one and the short is like the regular in the other one. So I don't know what their reasoning is. They just keep, it's kind of confusing. But just know that if you're a tall rider, you want to get the regular length. This is what I got. The Rafa Pro Team light, uh, flyweight bib shorts, regular. If you're about maybe five, five or shorter and you like short, uh, I mean, the, the short shorts are made for, for you in that size. You go ahead and get the short because you don't want it to be too long. Cause if this extends too close to your knee, then it flaps around. It's not designed to sit near the kneecap. So then that means this will be too wide down here. That's the reason why you must get the length correct in any short that you buy. Cause if you, if you're a short person and you prefer, and you're built for a, a short that stops here and you go and get a long one and it extends down to your kneecap, they will just flap around down there. You won't have that holding that you get. And if you're a very tall rider and you get the short one, it will look like you're wearing somebody else's short that's too small for you. You guys know what I'm talking about. But that's pretty much what uh, this is. I love it because you can see I put on the black uh, undershirt, uh, you know, base layer so that it will be out of the way. But you can see how this thing disappears. Okay, so this is the Rafa Protein Flyweight Bib Shorts in regular length. I hope this helps you make a decision. It's just high quality race wear available for everyone and I just love that they're out there. 